Hey, my name is Roman Lily, and I am currently traveling around Paris and I want to tell you about some of the things you really should know if you're thinking about coming to Paris, want to come to Paris, or just intrigued by the city. We are going to talk about some of the really cool things about Paris, France, and also some of the negative stereotypes, like about snobbish kind of stuff. Snobbery? Is that the right way to say it? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to talk about Parisian snobs, <laughs> if that's really a thing or not. So. Make sure you subscribe, by the way, if you haven't done so already. There's lots more videos coming up from here in Paris, France, but also from other countries. I'm in Europe now, um, going to the US at some point, traveling around Italy. Let's see, I don't even know all the places I'm gonna go next. But when it comes to Paris, there are definitely some things that you should know. Now, people kind of say that Parisians can be snobby. So let's talk about that for a minute because it's kind of true. <laughs> it's definitely true. Like when I was first um, here in Paris, day one, I went like into a sorbet shop. I'm going to take my sunglasses off even though it's sunny because I want to show you what happened to me and like you kind of need to be able to see my face. So at one point I walked into a sorbet shop and like I asked um, if I could have a taste of sorbet. The guy was like, if you like didn't move by the way didn't go to get the sorbet or do anything he was just like looking at me and I was like yeah yeah I would I would like to try some sir if that's okay you know like and uh, here's the thing that I've noticed politeness is very important in France especially here in Paris it's no different what that means in the US versus what that means in France is different so politeness means when you walk into any restaurant or establishment you have to say like bonjour madame bonjour monsieur but the thing is is like I think being a consumer in the US and even in many places of Asia is sort of like an underlying feeling that the customer is right that the customer is doing someone a favor by kind of showing up and by supporting the establishment that's not true here in Paris it's not true here in France they are doing you a favor by allowing you into the store to try their phenomenal French delicacies even if that delicacy is a sorbet a piece of cheese a coffee it doesn't matter so that's kind of the mindset so it's very important for customers to be polite also French people generally don't like it when people speak English to them just like right away. It's better to speak really terrible French and then let a French person transition the conversation to English. I learned that lesson the hard way. I would walk into places like, hello, bonjour. I would say bonjour, but like I might say, parlez-vous anglais? Which means like, you know, do you speak English? But they didn't, I think, I didn't really get a good reaction to that because although I was speaking in French, I was asking people to speak in English. It's better to just speak really terrible French. So like if you have Google Translate, just kind of Google Translate what you want to say, say it poorly, and then let them speak to you in English. It's weird, but it just sort of works out better that way for everybody. favorite thing about Paris is a lot to like I think a lot of people might say the food the food is fine here um, but my favorite thing about Paris is the street music there are so many different street musicians anywhere from one person with a saxophone I saw like a kid to like in a band playing all sorts of music There's classical music. Paris is actually the second most expensive city in the world. So if you're planning to come visit here, make sure you're aware of that and plan appropriately. Before I got to Paris, I was in India, Thailand, Vietnam, Definitely some sticker shock with coming here to Paris versus the places I'm accustomed to in Asia. With that said, I have a video coming up soon that I'm going to post that's about like what I spend in a day going through expenses here so you can see kind of like what's typical. There are always ways to kind of cut corners. I don't like to, I'm not like the cheapest traveler, um, but I like to be kind of balanced and moderate. So you can take a look at that. Another thing you 
must be aware of if you are traveling to Paris um, is that pickpocketing is huge here. <laughs> it's big. Um, I'm a member of different Facebook groups of like expats who are here in Paris and even expats who've lived here for a while um, with friends traveling or just themselves, people are getting pickpocketed on a regular basis. So if you come to Paris, please do not keep anything in your pockets. One woman, by the way, posted in the Facebook group saying that on the Metro, which is the subway here, she and her friend both had their laptops stolen out of their backpacks. Now, wow, how sophisticated of a thief, how professional do you have to be to pull that off without anyone noticing? These people are serious, they are real, they know what they are doing. So if you come to Paris, be very mindful of your things. Do not keep anything important in your pockets. Be careful with your backpack. Someone got laptops stolen out of it. You know, honestly, the other day I was on the subway, I put my backpack in front of me. Like right now, I'm wearing it like this, I'm not in a crowded area, but I had it like it was a baby on my chest. It looked ridiculous. And I felt a little bit silly, but guess what? I knew I was gonna have all my things because no one is gonna steal out of my backpack when it's right in front of me like that. Like, I'm gonna feel it, I'm gonna see it, I can monitor it better. So I would rather look silly and have all of my belongings with me rather than to look cool and look cute and like be robbed. So, don't wanna make anyone paranoid. You know, it's never my goal, but really pickpocketing is a serious, serious thing that happens to a lot of people here. So if you are coming to Paris, be really careful about that. Another thing about France, there are so many bakeries here. I have never seen so many bakeries in a small area. Like where I'm standing right now, there's a bakery here. I know where there's two down the street. Like there are just bakeries everywhere. Bread, pastries, I really don't know why French people aren't like obese. Because before I came to France, I thought everyone ate these really tiny portions. That is not true from what I'm seeing. Like this whole one bite, two bite thing, this, these portions are big around here. I've seen a lot of large portions. People here eat a lot of bread, a lot of cheese, not just one or two bites of it. Um, and it's impressive. There are bakeries everywhere. Have a look at some of these beautiful looking treats. And something else that I found surprising at a lot of these bakeries is, is that a lot of them do have vegan options and gluten free options. Sometimes Actually, a lot of the times they don't call out what's vegan because it's not really important, I think, for a lot of people here. But I have found that a lot of things are surprisingly vegan. So I found crepes that were, I found breads that were, all sorts of things. They're not labeled, I have to ask about ingredients. But once I ask, I find out and it's really good. There is also a really huge cafe culture here in Paris. So even you see people sitting behind me, it is very common for people to sit outside, have coffee, eat lunch, whatever, and just people watch. And what I love is, is that it's so unashamed people watching. Like they have a lot of the tables and chairs set up. <laughs> they have the chairs and tables set up just so that people can look out. You know, there's no, like even behind me, it, I'm still early. Um, it's almost, my, it's, it's early right now, it's almost lunch time. But you see the chairs are set up so people can just sit and look out at the street. Paris is a major city here in Europe and it actually reminds me a lot of New York. I lived in New York for a number of years. Paris has a similar vibe to me, but with one really big difference, actually, it's a small difference and that small difference is the height of the buildings so when I walk around Paris it feels a lot like New York to me at times except none of the buildings are very tall there's actually um, a law saying how tall the buildings can be here apparently they allowed one skyscraper to be built here in Paris or like a you know kind of a high-rise building everyone thought it looked ugly so after that they changed the rules <laughs> and they uh, no longer allowed high-rises so 
all of the buildings here are just like four or five stories, not very tall at all. Kind of like it. It makes everything look really kind of charming and quaint. Paris is a very Western, you know, modern city, but it is very different than any place I've visited in the US. It reminds me of New York, but I mean, let's be honest, everyone here is speaking French, so it's certainly different. And language is certainly um, a barrier if you don't speak the language, like I don't. I don't speak French. Um, I know a few phrases and sentences, but like that's it. So if you're coming to Paris and you don't speak French, it's good to just Google Translate a few phrases before you get here, because there is a stereotype, which I think is accurate, which is that the French don't really like it when people assume they speak English, even though a lot of them do. But um, they want you to try to speak French. So get some phrases ready before you come. The number one phrase you must know is bonjour. Bonjour, madame, bonjour, monsieur. That can take you really far. All right, so that has been our look at Paris, some of the things you must know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. There's a lot more coming up from here in Paris, from other places in Europe. At some point, I'm gonna go back to the States for a brief visit. Um, I'm gonna be all over the world as usual, so make sure you subscribe and see what's coming up. See you later.